Well, continuing on with the controller collections, I mean, and I don't buy these just to collect them. <coughs> I do use them. Um, don't know if I'll do. I'll probably do. I'll do some more of these. I mean, it's interesting to cover this kind of stuff. <coughs> but here's the original NES controller. This is controller model number NES-004, made in Japan. I have two of these, and I think I have a third one, but on the third one, the wire may be severed at the top of the controller, right where it comes out of the case of the controller. But, um, yeah, this is original. Uh, interesting how it has that red on the wire there. What if this other one has the same thing? Nope. It does not have that, so maybe that was added. Whoever, uh, own that controller last, maybe did that. Let me see here. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, all around, just great controller. Great feel to the D-pad. This one is, uh, still feels really good. Everything does. Um, of course, the casing has kind of yellowed. It is, uh, original color gray. I guess I'll show the other one. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Just on well, this one. This one is. I'm not gonna take the cord off because then I gotta redo it. This one feels slightly less used, um, even though, as you can see on the back here, it is uh, pretty scratched up. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, it feels like someone may have opened this and refurbished the uh, insides of it. <clears throat> but yeah, same model number. If that'll, if that'll even show up, works works the same. <sighs> um, since I don't feel like actually pulling out my other um, controller, I do have another one of these. This is the. This came out with the. NES Top Loader, which came out in 1993, and this is the NES Dog Bone controller. I do have a better example of this controller, but I just didn't want to bother with pulling it out and just going through stuff to try and find it. I know where it's at, but I just want to get this video done. Um, there's the back. It, it is very similar to the Super Nintendo controller in, in its aesthetics and how it looks. Um, of course, the Super Nintendo has more buttons, but this is more, feels better in your hands than the squared off uh, sides of the original NES controller. And this is small, kind of smaller uh, than the NES, original NES controller, but it gets the job done and I, I enjoy it. I haven't used it much, um, but yeah, well, let's show the back again for the model number. It is NES-039. So, I mean, currently, I don't really, and then I have the, uh, I guess I'll show them. And there are, whoa, hit the camera with the chair. <laughs> Two more NES controllers, but these are for the NES Classic. I believe there are a different version of this box out now. Um, one that you can buy on Amazon and when I bought these this was uh, these are I think the first version of the control that came out with the original run of the NES classic <clears throat> so I have three of these two right here in front of you still never open sealed in the box and the control that came with the NES classic yeah, that's about it uh, but I do plan on getting the cadet and see how that is uh, this is made by hyperkin looks like a great controller you can buy it on amazon and it's inexpensive as well and it has these uh concaved edges here that bend in uh the yeah so therefore it, it looks like it's a better design than the original nes controller <coughs> sorry i'm thinking i'm getting sick um but yeah, it says here, NES Premium 
controller here, the Cadet, and there is a another version of this called the Premium BT that you can use with uh, your PC or Mac or uh, NES Classic. Uh, this is for use with the original system or any clone systems. Um, so yeah, well, that is my collection, guys. I do. <laughs> I do thank you for watching.